South Sudan's opposition leader, Riek Machar, returned to the capital of Juba for the first time in more than two years. He landed on a UN plane and was sworn in as vice president. It's the latest development in international efforts to try and resolve the internal conflict that has blighted the country. At the Security Council in New York, the UN's head of peacekeeping welcomed the news but emphasized that the peace process is ongoing. The South Sudan peace process is extremely fragile. It will require a concerted, a sustained effort at every level, national, regional, international. The Security Council and the General Assembly adopted twin resolutions this week on the review of UN peacebuilding structures. It's time, says the UN, for a new approach. Peace building used to be what happens after conflicts are resolved. I think for the first time we're looking at peace building as something that happens before, during and after a conflict. And in Greece, a Syrian refugee carried the Olympic torch through the streets of Athens. 27-year-old Ibrahim al Hussein, a pro athlete who had part of his right leg amputated after a bombing in Syria, was granted asylum in 2014. The torch then went to Geneva, where Secretary-General Ban Ki-moon accepted it on behalf of the United Nations.